morning friends, welcome back. We're back with another daily vlog today. I have been really enjoying daily vlogs because I feel like I'm hanging out with a friend for the day even though I'm just by myself. <laughs> but today I don't really have any plans so I was like, well, why not do a daily vlog and we can just hang out together? So I did just drive to my P.O. box because I got an email saying there's stuff here but then I realized I forgot to bring my key. So that was kind of a huge fail. But I was planning to do a few other things after this anyway, so I guess I'll just head straight to the other things instead. I think I want to go to a plant nursery because I haven't been plant shopping or just even looking at plants in so long. I haven't bought a plant for like over six months, which is actually wild to me now that I think about it. If you guys have been viewers for a long time, you guys know. I love my plants and I still do love my plants but I just I don't want to have too 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 many and I feel like our house has a good amount of plants at the moment but in saying that I did have one that died like a couple weeks ago so I feel like I could justify buying one but we'll wait and see we'll see if we can find anything cute I've been trying to organize my pantry a little bit better and there's some containers that I've been wanting to get from Kmart and I've been able to get two Two of the containers that I want but I want like six of them but it seems like the specific containers that I want are very popular so I've just come to the conclusion that I oh someone parking next sorry for the angle I just don't want people to know I'm filming myself but I've just come to the conclusion that I might as well just like every time I'm in a Kmart or near a Kmart I'll just quickly check in to see if they have the container that I want or even some of the containers that I want and I'll slowly accumulate them over time hopefully so I might go have a look and see if they have the ones I want They did end up having the containers that I want. I'll show you guys what they look like when I get home and wash them all out and stuff and we can fill them and label them together. I also ran into Priceline to grab some stuff that I was running low on. So I'll show you that also, but I think I'm gonna head off to the plant nursery now. It's getting so warm, but I'm gonna put on my audiobook and I'll see you guys there. so many there are so many beautiful plants here this is definitely my favorite nursery that i've ever been to i used to come here all the time when i was in uni um and i just haven't been here for ages so i was like why not come visit <laughs> I just finished up at the plant nursery. I went on a winery tour over the weekend, three days ago, and I got really badly sunburnt just on my shoulders. I mean, it's completely my own fault, but they're literally starting to peel, and that's how you know it's bad. I haven't got sunburned in ages because usually I'm so good, like when I go to the beach or anything, about putting on sunscreen, but I just didn't think about it for a winery tour. Again, my own fault, but. These are the two little plant babies that I got. So this is a little Chinese money plant, which I've never had one. I'm really excited about it. And this one, I actually don't know. A Monstera Siltepicana? Sil I'm definitely saying that wrong, but it looks stunning. Kind of looks like Apothis a little bit, but I guess it's part of the Monstera family. But yeah, just little baby ones. So cute. While I was walking around there, I also realized that one of the first things that I did when I quit my job and started doing social media full time on one of the first days that I was like working for myself is I came here because I remember I was so excited to be able to do things like this just during an average day, like go and do things that I just wanted to do because I work for myself. And I can't remember if I've been back to this specific nursery since then. So when I walked back in, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm back at that moment when I first quit my job and I first started working for myself and like doing social media full time. And it just made me feel so grateful that this is literally my life now. I feel like I'm a very simple person. I don't really need a lot to make me happy, but things like this, plant nurseries, Kmart pantry organization really makes me feel like I'm living the dream. I'm not even kidding. Like that is the stuff that I'm like, wow. I am so grateful for the life that I live. So I know this is so cheesy, but I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for making my dream a reality. That sounds so cheesy, but it's true. I wouldn't be here without you guys. So I love you all so much. I'm gonna drive to Bunnings and find some pots for those little babies. And then I think I might head home and I'll show you guys what I picked up earlier at the shops. So I got home, made some lunch and I wanted to quickly show you what I picked up while I was out. So you guys saw the two little plants I picked up. So stinking cute. And then I got the containers from Kmart, which I've actually just 
rinsed out and washed and stuff. So we might fill those up in a second. But then I also went to Priceline because I was walking past and I remembered that I needed to pick up a few things that I was running out of. So firstly, I got this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I've just heard really good things about this and I'm about to run out of the current powder that I'm using. Um, so I just thought I would try something different. So we'll see how this goes. And then I picked up two serums from The Ordinary. So I just got the Night... Niacinim niacinamide Ni niacinamide niacinamide because I've almost run out of mine and I've been using it day and night for like weeks and weeks now and I actually feel like it's making a difference which is great that's what it looks like if you're wondering and then I also decided to pick up the hydrolonic acid because I googled it while I was in there and this is good for a lot of different things so I thought I would try it out we'll see if it makes much of a difference in my skin looks pretty much the exact same I have a few other serums or like oils from the ordinary I have their rose hip oil and also another one which I can't remember what it's called right now but I have them all lined up on the shelf in the bathroom it looks like a little science lab or something. I am briefly interrupting this video to say thank you to Caseify for sponsoring this little portion of the video. You guys probably know by now I love Caseify, I've been using them for years and I have never had my phone screen crack while using a Caseify case and I have cracked multiple phone screens in the past so that is saying something. Right now this is the one that I have on my phone. I think it's so sinking cute and so many of you guys have messaged me asking where it's from. I just really like a very minimal clean look and that's why I usually get quite simple designs but they literally have something for everyone. This is one of their ultra impact cases but I also have one of their impact cases here. As you can see they are both super sleek and super minimal. The ultra impact case has a little bit of extra protection and it's actually drop tested for up to 9.8 feet. The new ultra impact and impact cases are actually made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials which is awesome but they also have these which are their compostable cases which if you can't tell by the name are 100% compostable. I also love how sleek and minimal this one is. It's also a customizable one, so I've got my name on there. It just says Rach. And there are so many options for customizable cases. In my opinion, it's a perfect gift idea, especially as Christmas is coming up. And a lot of people have got the new iPhone. So if you or a friend or a family member has just bought a new phone, you definitely need to get a Caseify case to protect it. And of course, to look cute as well. The Ultra Impact and the Impact cases are also 100% BPA free, non-toxic and non-hazardous. And the cases also have an antimicrobial casing, which kills 99% of bacteria and also prevents any bacteria sticking to the surface of the case. So if you want to check out Case to Fire for yourself, you can go to casetofire.com slash Rachel. It'll be the first link in the description. And if you click on that link, you'll get 15% off your own order. Thank you again to Case to Fire for sponsoring this little part of the vlog, but let's get back into it. So I finished washing all of our new containers. This is what they look like. I got four of this size and then two of this size, which in comparison, they're just kind of like skinnier and taller and these are the two that I already have which are even bigger and these are just for plain flour and self-raising flour so everything that I want to do today is all just like baking stuff so like in one of these I'll have brown sugar one I'll have caster sugar one I'll put cocoa powder these are my jars for my baking powder and baking soda which are from Target which is so beautiful I love the wooden lid and the labeler is from Officeworks I don't know what it's called but it just looks like this. It's like the one that all the Pinterest people have. <laughs> While I was putting all those new containers back in the pantry, I was like, why don't I show you guys a bit of a pantry tour? We have a tiny pantry, <laughs> so just keep that in mind. But I would say our kitchen is just not the best design in general, but I'm thankful to have the kitchen that we do and we make it work. So when you walk into the kitchen, we just have this area here. So obviously that's our fridge, which there's no like actual space specifically for the fridge. You just have to put it somewhere and that seems like the best place to put it. Also, if you see these on the wall, 
all these are just little styrofoam blocks that we've put here so that when we open the fridge, if it hits the wall, it's not going to make a mark. It doesn't look the best, but honestly, I would rather not mark the walls and have a little bit of an ugly spot there, <laughs> so I don't really care. But this little section here is our pantry. Obviously, in the middle, we have our little microwave area, and then we have a cupboard above and a cupboard below. So these are our two little pantry spaces. So at the very top, we have wheat bix for Liam because he's obsessed forever and always. Then we just have some breakfast spreads in that little tub. So like peanut butter, honey, stuff like that. And then next to it, we have all of our cooking oils and vinegar, stuff like that. Coming down, we have basically just pantry staples. So we have quick oats because that's what I prefer, rolled oats because that's what Liam prefers. Then we have rice, breadcrumbs, macaroni noodles, and pasta. Pretty sure all of those containers are either thrifted or from Kmart but a really long time ago. And then below that we have two tubs and I think some of the white tubs are from Kmart and some of them are from Ikea. And this one's a bit more random. In here we just have like snacks. So we have some nuts and some little cans of tuna. And then in this one here, again, super random, just some extras of things. So extra almond milk and an unopened pack of rice cakes. And then looking in the bottom one, we have my new little baking section with all my new containers. Some of them are layered back. I'd prefer not to have them in like two layers, but we just don't have the space to have them all right at the front. But I just put our most used things at the front anyway. And then on the shelf below that, we have all of our canned goods and other random bits and pieces like tomato paste, coconut milk. There's an extra pizza sauce there, um, just like a cooking sauce type thing. And these are just like Hello Fresh things that we're using this week. This is from Kmart and so is this. So we have spaghetti in here and then fettuccine in this one. Um, and then above there, I just keep wraps and pizza bases and that's about it. And then in the bottom one, we just have all of our potatoes, onions, sweet potatoes, garlic, stuff like that in this tub. And then lastly, in this one, I have all of my baking goods like vanilla extract, coconut oil, little cookie cutters, sprinkles, food coloring. And that is literally it. That is our whole pantry. I wasn't planning on giving a pantry tour today, but I mean, why not? Nothing extravagant, but I feel like we have a good system and it really works well for us. I'm back in the kitchen now starting to cook dinner. We're having HelloFresh, this is not an ad, but I do have a code, I'll try and leave it in the description. If you guys want to use it, you totally don't have to, obviously. But we're having red pesto and veggie risotto, and I'm very excited. So this is like a vegetarian meal, but it looks so yum. Never made risotto before. I've eaten it, but I've never made it. Let's make some risotto. And I might listen to my audiobook while I cook. The veggie pesto risotto. That's good. Mm. Yeah, I like that. It's just the panko crunch. Yeah, I like the crunch. Mm. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. I wanted to give you a bit of a skin update before I put my makeup on. My hair is like kind of wet because I just washed it. But this is obviously my bare skin. I do have a lot of redness. That's just very normal for me. I've always had that ever since I was like a really little girl. But over the last few weeks, my skin has gotten so much better. So, so far this morning, I just cleansed my face, added a serum and moisturized. Those are the only steps that I've done, but look how glowy and like hydrated my skin looks. I do still have this kind of situation here, which is honestly mostly scarring, which is really frustrating. If anyone knows how to get rid of scarring or at least reduce it, I would love to know. We're getting close and personal for a second, but like, look at my skin. This is insane for me. I'm still not using any sort of medication or any sort of like, I don't know, <laughs> anything. I haven't done any facials, anything like that. It's just my skincare. The last couple of weeks, I have been increasing my water take drastically and trying to really prioritize drinking at least two liters of water a day. And I will say, I think it has made a huge difference in my skin. I don't think I was necessarily not drinking a lot of water before, but I just wasn't even paying attention to how much I was drinking. I was just obviously 
drinking when I felt like it. Whereas now I'm making sure I'm at least drinking two liters of water and my skin is really thanking me for it. But I thought while I'm here, I'll show you guys the skincare that I've been using on a daily basis that I think has made such a huge difference. Like I said, first thing is definitely just drinking water and a lot of it. But the second thing I will say is just being super, super consistent in my skincare routine. Like I do not miss a morning, I do not miss a night, especially on the days that I do wear makeup. I am very particular about making sure my skin is clear by the end of the night. But for my cleanser, I've been using this. I also think double cleansing in the nighttime has made a huge difference. Then after I cleanse, I use this, which is the niacinamide or whatever it, you call it, I don't know, this thing from The Ordinary. And then I'll let that kind of like sink into my skin for a little bit. And then I'll moisturize and I'll use one of these products. I personally love them both, but I think the CeraVe one ingredients are a little bit better, I think. And then yesterday you guys saw that I bought the hydrolonic acid. I used that last night for the first time and my skin looked so dewy. So obviously I can't really say much about that yet because I've barely started using it. And I've also started wearing sunscreen on a daily basis. But again, I only started doing that like a week ago. So I don't feel like I can really talk much about that yet but I'm just so proud of my skin she's doing so well it's been a few hours I've just been editing getting some work done but guys I finished another book <sighs> my heart this is Heartbones by Colleen Hoover you guys know I love Coho and honestly I think this is my new favorite I loved it. I think it's a five star read for me and I think I've only read like 10 five star books this year so that's really saying something. I loved it. Anyways, I'm heading out to go have, I was gonna say breakfast, I'm not having breakfast, I'm going out to have lunch with my mom at her work like I do every single Wednesday. I'm gonna have the leftovers from dinner last night, that risotto that we made. I'm very excited about it, it looks so young. So when I go have lunch with my mom on Wednesdays, I don't like go out for lunch, I just go into her office where she works and then have like lunch in their staff room. <laughs> it's a huge staff room, so it's fine. But it just means we can hang out for an hour because <laughs> of the besties. Secured the coffee. I got the ice latte, mum got a mocha and I also picked up a sneaky little treat. Some melting moments. Mum and I both love these, and I thought it'd be fun to surprise her. A little lunchtime treat, why not? <gasps> Excuse me. I'm just coming on here to end out the vlog. I just finished doing my skincare. I'm about to hop into bed and read. I really enjoyed spending a couple of days with you guys, but I'm gonna go, and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.